so what I've done is like moved all the equipment to show you so this is my main video recorder this video recorder works unfortunately I do not trust it re-recording on disc uh, very bad Put it wrong one there you go. that one goes in there as you can see see me plug through lovely wires I hate messing about with wires right this is my main machine now the video recorder is rubbish because it chews your tapes up but it has a hard drive in it and it records everything onto disc now unfortunately on my disc it seems to work very well until a couple of years they start to deteriorate or whatever they're not working very well so thank you for John Dunning who donated this video recorder it was his mum's uh, very handy I haven't used it yet obviously uh, but it's a backup one and hopefully it works I have tried it but I'm not really 100% guaranteed to put VHS in you need to take sorting out first version box obviously and yes guaranteed the PS this this actually moves about all over the place um, the PS4 it goes all over the place it goes to resistors and all over that place so yeah most of the time I'm walking around with <laughs> Welcome. So I've got me um, VHS here. It's a um, VHS um, combi. What records on this? Same with this one. This is my main one, but unfortunately, the VHS is rubbish because it keeps chewing my tapes up. Another VHS re recorder there. Unfortunately, I ain't even bothered trying using that PS4 on top of there, if you might notice, and TV and that virgin box so I've been having a problem with um, my little mini disc back in the old days which doesn't seem old to me because I my first one was um, VHS a little mini cassette with this um, camera and I connect it into the uh, top one here unfortunately I've been buying these discs these ones have been held in out all right uh, back here yeah, obviously so I, I have to connect this to that machine there the black one there obviously you know click it down there put my leads down there obviously I'm holding camera so I've got a new toy to um, unveil a package and I'm gonna open it even if it's miles away with camera shot but you know you got you got the idea I'm gonna open this package as you can see the state of the paper oh it's one of these it does that oh um don't do what I want it to do um I do have a pair of scissors here but you know oh it's doing it now ah there you are Right, so in this box, this nice safe box, I've got a nice another, another little box here to put my new toy in. Yeah, it's involving VHS. So, let's have a look inside here. Let's open it. Wow, so this is my equipment. So it's come in a bag. Uh, no leads with it. I, I expected that anyhow, but I've got my own, so it's a good job actually. So, this is my little item. Ugh, if I can open the wrapping. So, that's all you get. 
Right, that's connect to your computer, and that is to connect to your VCR, your VHS, or Betamax, maybe. We hope so. So, on that end of that note, we better find some VHS tips. Aye! Hello, so I'm here to get some VHS tapes. So first thing, we need some ladders. And up here is my loft. Whoa! Oh yeah, things always just seem to attack you. Uh, right, so let's stand my ladders out. Uh, so I've got to do all this. Um, pull that out. Lift the ladders up there. Whoa! Of this wire because I need that because I don't have lights in the loft. Have a lamp! Right, so with my trusty um, extension lead, I need to go up there. So uh, I'm best going up there. Let's move that light uh, there. So I can go a bit long. So you go up here like this. So we're in the loft now, this is my loft, yeah, uh, yeah, you can see boxes and all that lot, all very curious, aren't we? So, in them boxes is VHS, buried with DVDs as well, so, we've got some up there open, but we're looking for a certain one, because we've got two copies. Three boxes down, there's more up there as you can gather if you're good at counting. Right, not the best camera shot, yeah the place is in a mess as you can gather. You can know this, can't you? So we've got one box open. Right, I'll throw the lid up there. Right. They look like films to me. Yeah, these are films. I actually thought these were going to be my stunt ones. It looks like I've brought the movies down. Okay. I'll show them with a closer shot of them. But, yeah. Obviously, I'm not going to copy them. I've got them on um, v well DVD actually some of them obviously when you bought them on VHS you had to replace them onto DVD later on and you, you got some special features and that but VHS you never did but you will find some rare footage what they actually put on VHS don't forget I used to have Betamax and I can show you one of them but not today It might be a noisy with the washing machine open and I can't shut the door, but you know, I'm just an amateur. So, these may be some interesting ones. Unfortunately, I can't copy these or anything. I might have to get in touch with some lawyer or solicitor or anything, but you know, you've got 
all my crash ones here. Sorry, you're not going to see them really in the light. And you can tell it, it looks like that. So, yeah, should have done that with the other one, but it doesn't matter. some blank ones. I know these are blank ones because I remember doing these back in 2009 maybe. So these are not matte. They're all more or less just black and no stickers on them marking them what they are. Obviously we've got some interesting ones coming up ahead on me Clapton stunts. But yeah I've got a lot there to go through. That's a lot of viewing. Hello, so we've got some videos out. Obviously I'm using a windowsill to put them on. So we've got this tape here. If you've got good eyesight. We've got police stop. Trucks. Uh, I'm going to blind a bit at it where right more to get well loud whatever Ferrari well you can, I think you can notice that even sunlight might be shining on it so we're getting more to the crazy ones now these are mine when I bought as a young lad yes so point of impact Yes, now then, I'm not going to leave them on the windowsill because it will damage the tapes, but obviously just to show you. Now this is a, one of my first tapes I ever got was uh, Monster Mayhem. And that was later on. So things started being the same on VHS when they brought them out. They started bringing things called like Stunt Wars. That's Stunt Wars 1. Stunt Wars 2, you know, it, it just got all tediously the same, you know, wars, bike wars, everything, anything vehicle wise, bike wars, everything. Yeah, Jeremy Clarkson, yes. Uh, more stunts, because I like my stunts. Obviously, I'm sorry for turning my head, so we've got them on the table here. Yeah, it's very interesting. More stunt wars, but it's a different one. And we're banging racing in, if you can tell. Obviously, we've got that one. More stunts. Yes, Tim Fidel even brought his own crash collection videos. Well, destroying the Reliant Robin in it. Yes, that's even before Top Gear did. We've got Crash Attack. All oh, these weird names, if you can see them. Uh, Crash Wars, Crash Wars, I told you, you're going to see a lot of wars in it. Yes. I mean, these were quite popular. I do have number one and three. Um, that's another one of my early tapes. Blood, Sweat and Gears. Yes, Monster Trucks, everyone. Yes. And there we are. So. <laughs> We're going to bring the main ones. These were the main ones, these um, Crash Wars. But there were the videos Havoc. And I started buying them as well. We've got more Havoc. Yeah, so you can tell I'm bending down. Car Wars 3. These came out once a year around Christmas. So I'm talking somewhere many, many years ago. Started off in the late 80s, didn't I? I think. Yeah, Car Wars 5, Car Wars 6, I don't know if Sunlight's catching them. This one's amazing, Car Wars 7, because it VHS was a yellow tape. I remember that, because it was more than one with yellow. Car Wars 8, and Car Wars 9, that's all I got up to. Um, very annoying, okay. So 
does us to carry on filling them up. Obviously, we got Christine, Dark Angel. Um, I come in peace. Actually, the American version was, you know, not on the name of it. Uh, Thunder Lightning. That's another classic one. Obviously, I got the old ball ones, like you know, like Clove and. Um, Critics too here for the moment. Obviously I can't copy these. Bit of Clint Eastwood there for ya. Dominator Annie. So we've got Desperado. Um Eddie Murphy there. Now this hasn't come out on DVD over in the UK. Well I haven't found it. Well, you know, police story, super cult. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, they're quite collector's thing. I did give most of my Star Wars videos away, you know. Uh, obviously the Rocky films. Most alone. And, yeah. I'm going to leave it at that because we're going to run out of space. Okay. <laughs> So I've brought some more tapes down as you can gather in the box so I'll just get them out so I'm sort of looking here because I'm trying to do it you know really quick so we've got Stallone as you know Cobra got Annie Predator obviously that one VHS uh, Maniac Cop 1 and 2 uh, you can buy them on DVD um, I know that most of them did. I didn't get many at Cop, but obviously I got Face Off on DVD. I got Rumble in the Bronx on DVD. He still has that bit cut out where they throw the bottles at him. Obviously, so that will cut out. Don't know if your eyesight's that good, but this is maybe Police Story 4, First Strike. And technically they are Police Story 4. Should have done this actually, it'd been better, wouldn't it? But we'll cut them back. Obviously, I've got my blind things, you know, annoying the hell at me. So let's put them up here. So we've got Tremors 1 and 2. And yes, that is a good film. Stone Cold. Yeah, that's it. I had a look then. Obviously, the cover looks like Terminators. Yes, Terminator with the original sounding. Uh, unfortunately, um, it's on VHS, I can't copy him. Um, Resident Evil, obviously, a, new, a double feature with Claude Van Damme there, so, you know. So he used to get double feature, you had to wait after Kitty Rinkers, you had to wait for the first film to finish, to watch the other one. Or you had to rewind it, a thing called rewinding. And you could re-risk at breaking your tapes. Yes, more films there. More old technology for you all. Yes, back in the day. Yes, these men in black. Yes, when Will Smith was younger. Um, just totally random as I'm speaking. Should have done this. Rose Flower. Obviously, Fled. Got a good deliverance drug in that. More Annie there. Obviously, as you know, I'm not going to leave them on windowsill. So, your suspect, hard rain, VHS. Now, most of it, I did give my VHS away. So, but I'm quite surprised. I mean, you know, wow. Oh, yeah, they've still got them here. So, I want a big, big pile here. Do a Peter Griffin. Roadhouse. Yes. Money Train. Silence at Lambs. Yeah, no. Eight Legged Freaks. Uh, I don't think I've got them in order, but obviously, you know, we've got, I think that's uh, Empire. No, it ain't, that was Star Wars, that's Empire. And I did have them, oh, another Empire. Yeah, yeah, I, I did buy them quite a few times, the Star Wars ones. But I gave some away. Kept them. I don't know what I've actually kept. So we've got more Jackie Chan. And Total Recon, you know, Annie. I love that cover. 
I mean, on the DVD, it's just horrible, but I, I, you know, the original um, cover, I like that. That's what's worth just keeping for the cover. Let's move that. There. Robocop 2. Yeah, I know it was a flop, but you know, it's tongue and cheek. Uh, yeah, that's a bad book, I suppose. Team Raider, yeah. So, another big pile. Whoa, I just dropped them all. So, Saving Private Ryan to Broken Arrow. Yeah, Mel Gibson. Yeah, yeah, Ransom. Yeah, that one, quite old one. Yes, I know. Uh, got them on DVD, even series. We don't know what's happening with series, shall we? We'll need for weapon. And The Rock. And obviously, I do have music videos as well. This is a bit of insight. I do like my Carol Decker to pal. So, yeah. <laughs> strange machine as you might have seen noticed before and maybe in the video but yes this is classed as a VHS and a combi with a um, recorder terrible this one was for the disc because they seemed not to work on anybody else's um, DVD player but unfortunately I'm having problems with that but we're going to have a go with some VHS. Yes. We're going to put these on, hopefully. Alright, can't tell by the light, but yes. We'll go a bit more further. Not really good. Oh, that's better. Now it's focused. And it's the opposite way around. But maybe. Yeah. Winding my tape forward and then winding it back so it tightens your tape back, you know, tightens it. And in there is where we're going to do the magic. So we're playing the tape, that's VHS there. Yeah. So in a previous video that you saw me opening that, obviously the disc was inside there. So she's opening the uh, machine, yes. I'm not that technical. We need somebody with brains to actually do That's that. Not me. Uh, well, tough. You are you are branded with it. So yes. <laughs> See I don't even know how to get a disc out, you know. Because it's VHS for me. Yeah. yeah for old school. Old school, yeah. yeah. So. So we're going to spend maybe half hour filming. <laughs> so, we'll film the monitor. Well, it's not showing up. Yeah. 